More clip-on features. Enough said. Go. Let's start out making some manacles. So I'm going to take a paper clip and straighten it out. Then I'll wrap it a few times tightly around anything really, a cubob skewer, a pencil, whatever. And with wire cutters, I'll snip off a single loop. Now this is some necklace chain, which you can get at any craft supply store. I'm just going to thread my paper clip loop through the last link in the chain, and then cinch it shut with some pliers. And then I'll just cut the chain to length, about uh, two inches. And we'll simply hot glue the free end of the chain to our clip-on foundation. Recall from episode 32 how to make clip-on foundations. And then I simply paint up the foundation. Easy. Now what about the humble torch? There's a lot of ways you could do this. I'm going to use this bead, which came from a random assortment from the craft store. And I made up some of DM Scotty's Q-tip torches. I'm not going to do a tutorial on that, he already did it perfectly. So I'll simply paint up my foundation, and then hot glue this bead to it, because I like the way it looks already. And it serves as a holster for my torch. Now let's do some grading. To be honest, if I could go back and redo this, I would, and I'll explain what I mean in a minute. I'll prepare a two inch long wall clip from a playing card using the same method as was described in episode 16. Now we're gonna take four matchsticks and cut them to two inches, and take five matchsticks and cut them to about one and a quarter inch. And so we'll lay out the four long ones and just glue the short ones to them perpendicularly. Make sure you space them out evenly. Take this whole assembly and hot glue it to the wall clip. and we'll paint up the wall clip just like our dungeon and coat the grating with gunmetal. Now what I wish I had done is not use the wall clip. Uh, how do I best describe this? I wish I had made a, a clip-on foundation except about twice as big as the ones we've been making and with a rectangle cut out of the middle and then I would glue the matchsticks into that hole to make the grating. That would be more visually consistent with all my other clip-on features, and also easier to use. Easier to actually attach to the wall with no fiddling. Uh, now that I think about it, the same holds true for my secret doors from episode 16. I would make a big clip-on foundation, cut out the center, and glue in the rotated slab of wall to, to make the secret door. And lastly, let's tackle a corner case. Recall that the walls for our sewer tiles are not actually a quarter inch thick. They're only about a sixteenth of an inch thick, or however thick your chipboard was, because we needed to reclaim some real estate on the tile that was lost to the aqueduct in the center. So none of our clip-on features work for those tiles, but the principle is the same. The wall is chipboard, so we'll start with a square of chipboard. Then we attach two rectangles to it, one on each side, to create the clip. So let's make a pipe outlet. I'll just take some random lightweight cardstock, cut a strip about a half inch wide, and roll it into a circle. I'll glue the hot ends of it together, and then hot glue the whole thing onto our clip-on foundation. And I never got around to painting this one up, but here's some pictures of it in action.
So again, I kind of wish I had not done these thin playing card clips anymore. I'm pretty much switching to the clip-on foundations. They're sturdier, they hold on, you can turn the tile upside down, they're very strong. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more clip-on features in the future. If you have ideas, just email them to me. I'll do a few at a time in each episode. Uh, Till next time, though, I am Wylock. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.